Good morning, lovelies. Zoe 2.2 with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you. And today is one of our classic little news dump info blasts for you, direct from Niantic into your domes about the upcoming events for January. Just to quickly start off as well, a few people have asked in my like last few ones of these, how did you get this information? How your your video went out at the same time as the tweet? Are you are you hacking the database? How do you know these things? Oh, big eyes emoji. Suspicious. Uh, no, I, if you guys don't know, if you're a new follower, etc., uh, myself and several other YouTubers have a healthy relationship with Niantic. I think previously referred to, you know, as like the summer tour squad, sponsored squad, things like that. I'm not employed by Niantic. I am not constantly sponsored by Niantic. For example, this year I was sponsored for the Chicago trip. Uh, for Chicago Go Fest, like that was it. But uh, myself, Trainer Tips, Nick, Reversal, Brandon, a whole bunch of creators uh, basically have this healthy relationship with Niantic and they will occasionally give us this information in advance. So there are a whole bunch of trusted sources for you guys for when we say this is happening, uh, that you can trust that this is happening. Separate from when we say, I would like to speculate about this thing, um, we can speculate freely about like, I wonder if this will happen and that's fine. But this is one of those, hey, this is direct, this is confirmed, this is from Niantic. Uh, so here we go. Uh, oftentimes with that, you know, info from Niantic, occasionally there will be changes and amendments. So this is all correct as of the time of this going out. Uh, everything I'm telling you is accurate until changed otherwise potentially in the future due to consumer feedback, etc. So we got a whole bunch of events and updates and little features coming to January. First things first is the January Team Go Rocket uh, Boss Giovanni event, our little side quest that we've had every month for the last two months. Wow, every month. Uh, we're gonna be getting Moltres. So as we kind of predicted, first one was Articuno, this month has been Zapdos, next month will be Moltres. Keep in mind, these do change every month. So if you have not done your Zapdos yet, be sure to get it done before like ASAP because it will change to Moltres on the 1st of January. And going forward to the you know end of January, do be sure to stay on top of your quests if it's something that you want to do. And if those are shadow Pokemon that you want to get. Otherwise, no harm, no foul. From January 1st to February 1st, 1 p.m. PT, so 1 p.m. Niantic time, our breakthrough research, you know, end of the week, seven day quest research breakthrough is going to be Lapras that will know either Ice Shard or Ice Beam. So legacy slash special event moves there for Lapras will be our seven day research breakthrough. Keep in mind, these can be shiny as well. So basically four free and easy weeks of Lapras shiny checks, Lapras legacy moves, that kind of jam. And for the first time in a while, it is just a one month breakthrough. We've for quite a while had double months, like double yokers, had double months where it's gonna be, you know, Zapdos, Articuno, Moltres for two months, or what we've currently got right now with the birds and the Groudon Kyogre, two month sets. This is a one month set for Lapras, so yeah. If you need that shiny Lapras, all that kind of jazz, easy. The egg sighting adventure sink hatchathon is back as well. We saw this one kind of mid year. It was right before Go Fest actually last year, like Chicago Go Fest. If I believe I'm thinking of the right event. Uh, and basically you'll get rewarded with items, stardust, all sorts of stuff for walking a particular distance. This time as well, you can earn rare candies and Unova stones. So once again, if you're someone who has been pretty unlucky on the weekly breakthroughs, you're still yet to get your one out of a team go rocket or something like that. Uh, this will be another way to get it through the Adventure Sync Hatchathon. We did see last time as well, insane Stardust bonuses, like what was like 100K Stardust, like straight to the dome. It was ridiculous. If you put a star piece on as well, it was just like pff, nuts, crazy amounts of Stardust. So fingers crossed, it's something similar to that again, because I honestly, I don't think I've hit the 50K week walk distance since one of like the in-person events, since a, um, a go fest or a safari zone. I don't think I've actually hit the 50k adventure sync goal in a while. I've been a bit slack, but Stardust, that, that'll, that's, that's a little motivator for me. So get your walking shoes on and get ready to pop some eggs. Also, you don't have to hatch eggs to, you know, get the bonuses. It's usually the bonus is attached to just walking a certain distance. So good luck and hope you can get it done. It also says, I'm gonna read this very carefully. It also says, during this hatchathon time, so by the way, hatchathon will be January 2nd to January 16th, 1 p.m. PT, PDT, PST, Niantic time. So two weeks is the hatchathon. During this time, it says, you will be able to find Pokemon wearing party hats by hatching eggs and encountering Pokemon in the wild too. More details coming soon. 
Here's speculation zone. The official news, speculation zone. Party hat Wormpool, please. Please, it's been data mined. Uh, we've seen data mines of the party hat Wormpool and of party hat uh, Wobbuffet as well and their shiny forms. Mm. Plus, I'm so, so hopeful that we get the party hat Wormpool. That thing is an absolute meme and has been for us more than 12 months. Uh, we would love it. We would, we would appreciate the party hat worm and hopefully that is what we get. And I cannot emphasize this enough guys, please, 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 if we get the party hat wormpool. I'm saying if because I'm speculating and I'm hoping, I'm just being hopeful. If we get the party hat wormpool, make it your buddy, take a billion AR photos of it, post it on like Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz, show the Pokemon company that we love stuff like this, this fun, silly worm with a hat is something that we will literally go out of our way to catch, to hatch, to try and get so that Niantic can have more free reign to make fun stuff like this. Niantic does not own the brand, the IP of Pokemon. That, like, us wanting Party Hat Wormpool, Niantic could be like, yeah, it's a sick idea. Hey, Pokemon company, can we do that? And they're like, no, no, thank you. Why? Like, if we get this, we need to make a big fuss about how stoked we are to get it, basically. We've been asking for it for so long. If we get it, make a big fantastic fuss and show the Pokemon company we want more fun stuff like this. Try and kind of squeeze a bit more so that Niantic can have a bit more fun with stuff like this and hopefully get more crazy, just silly fun features like this in the future. So yeah, I know if this happens, it's gonna be like literally straight away slapping it down as my buddy. That is the plan. <laughs> Jump back out of the speculation zone, back into news. Uh, we're gonna be getting Heatran back into legendary raids. So from January 7th to February 4th, we'll be seeing Heatran back in raids. I'm, I'm semi, I don't mind either way. Uh, I know I only have like one good one, so I wouldn't mind a couple others, but you'll be able to encounter shiny Heatran. You. Blink and you'll miss it, honestly. That, that shiny is fairly, fairly indistinguishable to be honest. But hey, it's another shiny in the game. If you want it, it's there. If you don't, eh, do what you want. Just quickly as well, top counters for Heatran are going to be things like your big tanky ground type attackers. Groudon, Rhyperia, uh, Garchomp with ground moves. Excadrill is gonna be a little beast. Rhydon, a very easy access Pokemon there. Golurk, if you're lucky enough to have one. And a whole bunch of other options here as provided by Pokebattler.com. Uh, plenty of stuff to take on this boy with that we should have access to at this point in the game, or you should hopefully have had access to. And lastly, the Unova Nouveau. Uh, basically reports of potentially some new Unova Pokemon popping in the wild. Have you seen them? Where are they? Keep your peepers out. More details coming soon, etc., etc. But hey, sounds like another batch of Gen 5 Pokemon coming very, very soon. So yeah, that is your little news info dump update. What are you most looking forward to in this hot chunk of news? For me, it is the hopefully party hat worm pool. Even if we don't get it, I think the hatchathon is kind of my, my style. I like hatching eggs. Uh, I like getting outside and doing some walking. So if there's more incentive to get out and do that, let's do it. And always down to take on some more team go rocket villainy. Villain, oh, I love them. They're so fun. I, I just enjoy it. It's like a fun, nice little side thing to do. It's not too much investment in your time and energy and resources anymore. Now that we've kind of, we've kind of mostly worked out how to, how to take them on pretty easily. So you want to do the outro, William? As always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch. Ah, the merch. The cat hair covered merch are in the description down below. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.